Well here we are again uh, in the Conburn kitchen. We've been out fishing recently, caught some very very nice cod here on the south coast of the UK. And uh, we're going to do uh, one of my favourites and it's a really really nice recipe this one. Uh, we're going to do a cod pie. Well we've already filleted our cod, took the skin off of it, took the bones out and I must uh, make a confession here. I've only ever had one bone that I know of and fish that I've filleted, which I'm quite proud of because it's very hard not to you know, take out every single bone. Um, so I'm not going to uh, worry too much about one. No one choked on it. But I've taken out all of the bones, all of the skin. As you can see, some lovely fillets we've had there. I mean, that tells you the size of the cob we've been getting. There's a cross section of one of the fillets there. And we've cut it into chunks, round about sort of uh, so big, evenly cut. That way they all cook at the same time. You don't have overcooked fish. Prior to that though, we've done a little bit of preparation beforehand. Not just the uh, fish preparation. We've cut some potatoes into probably just, uh, what would you say there, sort of seven, eight mil thicknesses. And we've virtually cooked them through. Only boiled them. But what that means is they're holding together well. You don't want to overboil them, they'll break up. They break up, they're no good for what we want for this dish. So they're, I'd say, three quarters cooked. And we'll show you that, but this is uh, part of the pre-prep. Also, we've boiled some carrots, sliced and boiled some carrots. And we've done some leeks, uh, as you can see here in front of me. We've done some leeks, a bit of fresh ginger, a uh, bit of fresh garlic, onion, finely sliced. And we've got that on the hob at the moment, very slowly sweating down. So, we've gently sweated off our leek, our onion, garlic and ginger, really nice and slowly. That way, releases all those lovely sugars and all we've done is just sweat them off just so they're nice and soft. To that, we're going to add a little bit, and I mean a little bit, this is really just to give it a bit of a, an undertone of flavour and you don't want to overpower on the fish. The fish should be the star of the show, as it always should. So what I've got there, this is only a meal for two people, so I've got a little bit of coriander, which I'll just sprinkle over that. As well as coriander, a little bit of smoked paprika. Again, not too much. You're looking at literally a third of a teaspoonful there. Just adds a little bit of extra interest to the flavour. And lastly, not too much of this, but a bit of turmeric there. And again, not too much because it'll overpower. About the same amount, third of a teaspoon there. Just sprinkle it on and I'll stir that in in a moment using a wooden spoon. I'm going to use a nice uh, metal spoon on the frying pan, do we? So we'll just gently mix those flavours in. Give that about two, two minutes longer and uh, we'll start arranging our dish. So basically, while we sweated off those onions, we put some milk on the pan. We're not boiling it. To that we've added, or we're going to add, a couple of lovely fresh bay leaves and a couple of peppercorns. Now I don't want that milk to boil, but what I do want it is just pretty much where it's getting to now. Decently hot. Um, you can still probably put your finger in that without burning it. I'm going to take that off the heat just for a second because I don't want it boiling. Well, that milk's now got to a nice temperature, as I say not boiling, but pretty hot. Just about to add our nice cubes of fish to that. So all in at once, don't mess about and put it in piecemeal. It's all got to go in together. And we'll just allow that just to cook gently. Well, we don't want to cook this fish totally through. It starts to go opaque as it starts to cook. You'll see that in a moment. I'll uh, fish some out for it. Didn't mean that's a pun, by the way. But we'll uh, get a bit out and show you it. Just as it's going opaque, we're going to take that off the heat and set it to one side. Okay, so while that fish is on, and as I mentioned, doesn't need too long, we're going to just arrange the dish. There's our leek and onion mixture there with a lovely uh, fresh ginger and garlic in it. I'm just going to layer that over the bottom. You can see the back of the pan there, but you'll see it in a moment. We'll just layer that over the bottom. To that, we're going to add our carrots. Plenty of carrots because I tell you I do like a lovely uh, fresh carrot. So we'll layer those over the bottom and literally I reckon that fish should be about ready. We'll get a bit of it out and show you what it should look like. 
So that fish now, it's been on no more than about three minutes. And as you can see, if I get a couple of the chunks out, they've just gone opaque. So they've just got a bit of white colour in them. They're not cooked totally through, but I'd say they're half cooked. Now that's when I'm going to take those out and layer that over the bottom of our dish on top of our vegetables. Okay, as you can see, that fish is looking good. Going straight over the top of our vegetables. Note, I'm not putting in the bay leaves. The bay leaves are merely in there as flavouring, as are the whole peppercorns. So, we're not adding those. We're literally just putting the fish over the top. And that's that. Almost done. There we have it. And that can just set aside for one moment while we make our sauce. So we're onto our sauce now. Nice knob of butter there. It's unsalted. Um, you can use salted because there's not too much salt in this recipe. Um, just means you probably put a little less seasoning on when it's finished. So nice knob, knob of butter in there. This is our milk, which we've poached the uh, cod in. Obviously that's now retained a nice bit of flavour from that cod. We're going to melt that butter and to that we're going to add some plain flour. I'm going to sieve it because you want to cook it out. Now I'm not going to add too much, it doesn't need too much. I don't know, about probably the same amount of flour to butter, we'll try that for now. Just sieve it through there, a little bit more, a tiny bit more. What you're trying to do is you want to cook this flour out. There's uh, not much worse taste than uncooked flour, very grainy, very unpleasant. So I'm just going to add this flour to this melted butter, stir it around, cook it out, and back our roux. Okay, well, we cooked our flour and butter out for a couple of minutes. Um, you don't want to burn it again, you just want a nice sort of golden consistency there. And what we do now is we add our poaching milk to this. We keep stirring, you must keep stirring. We'll turn that heat down just a touch. So you don't want it too hot. But what you must do is keep stirring. Now, to start with, this will look lumpy, and it will go lumpy. But if you keep stirring and you keep adding the milk bit by bit, that will gradually thin out, and that will go to a very nice creamy consistency. Well, as you can see, I've added a fair bit of the milk to it, and uh, you know, it kind of doesn't look good at the moment. You think this isn't a sauce, that's going on, that's awful. Well, stick with it and have a bit of faith. As long as you keep that moving around, gently adding the milk bit by bit, and in a moment, you'll see this will come together absolutely lovely, and it'll make a really, really flavoursome, creamy sauce to pour over our fish and vegetables. Okay, well, I've been stirring this now for maybe six, seven minutes, so a little bit time consuming, but what it comes down to, you can see, look, as, I, as I run the spoon across there, it parts the way, you can see the bottom of the pan, and then it closes up. Now that's just about the consistency we want, sort of like a single cream, and that's ready to pour over our fish. Final stage now, we're going to layer the top of our pie with our par boiled potatoes. Um, just looks a little bit neater if you layer them back and forth. All we do now, a little bit of melted butter, and just brush over the top of those potatoes. That helps them to brown when it's in the oven. So just make sure they, every bit of the potato gets a nice little tiny glaze of that melted butter. And then you can either set this aside and cook it later in the day. So you can prepare this earlier if you want and cook it later. So those potatoes now have got a real nice glaze of butter on them. So final stage, preheat an oven, 180, 20 minutes or so, so it's nice and hot. Place that in the middle shelf and when those potatoes have got a nice brown top to them, and you'll see all the cream underneath bubbling, I say cream, creamy sauce, bubbling underneath. Take it out of the oven, 
serve it with some nice greens for a bit of contrast and this is a basic fish pie yes it didn't take a lot to make it but I'll tell you what, it, the, the cod really sings in this dish. It's a lovely, lovely dish.